exercise that's fantastic for your thighs, but no jumping required. So, a familiar exercise that's been done all around the world, Apple aerobics is very, very popular, is a single leg kick forwards and kick back. Normally we do it with a little bit of a hop. And the hop just makes it a little easier, adds a bit of cardio, so it depends on how the hop's done, actually. This week we're going to do it with no hop. So that means that this foot stays planted to the bottom of the pool while the other leg kicks forward and kicks back. Now, what's really interesting here is that your arms play a huge role in being able to pull through that water, otherwise the leg's not going to move as much. So it looks like this. Okay, amazing hamstring exercise because as you kick forward, so pull back at the same speed, you've got to bend the knee and extend the hip and go all the way back. The pull through is easier, the pull back's much more intense. So fantastic for working through the backs of the thighs, but it's all about the speed. So if you do it like this, so I call stretching. This is not really what I would call exercise. So exercise, it means that your body feels like it's doing something. So, you've got to move at this speed. Fingers open, big core action. Your arms are really working to pull that leg through. Notice how my shoulders move. They rotate back, rotate forwards. That's normal. Trying to tell your clients to keep them perfectly still while arms and legs are moving is not good at all. There's a school of thought that is, if you don't move anything, you're using your core. Wrong! You're potentially injuring smaller areas of the body, like joints or tendons or ligaments, because you're putting too much load. Share the load. Share the load over as many muscles as you can, over as many joints as you can. Here. It's a great exercise. Of course, you would then do it on the opposite side. Hope you enjoy it. Your clients are going to love it because there's no jumping with it. That's this week's appetite.